Hi Aries, this is Philosophical. I'm going to give you your quick message on what's up with Aries. So I'm revising Venus or Crosswatcher. I started to do your message yesterday and then uh, my dude came home. So it kind of, it got interrupted. So I don't know, there could be somebody trying to interrupt you or distract you from something or for some of you, you're doing this to somebody. This could also be for Crosswatcher. I mean, I, I accept you all here, even the ones who don't like me. You help my channel grow by watching me. So uh, we're just going to get into this. I'm using the television in the background for this one. So if anybody has a problem with that in the background, I guess this would not be uh, the message for you or it's, you're not going to like this. So you know what I realized? That whatever's going on energetically is affecting the birds as well. I notice that sometimes the birds are out there before I even wake up like waiting for me to feed them and then there's also days where I'll put food out I don't see one bird almost for the entire day that's not normal I, I feel like it's normal for birds to be up before we are some people for some people it's their alarm clock so I don't know there's something happening there's something so powerful happening in the atmosphere that it's actually affecting birds it's probably affecting insects too and we just don't realize it For those of us who are um, sensitive, energetic to energy, we're definitely feeling it, right? So, all right, we're going to see what this message is about. Basically, the message yesterday was that there was an aging narcissist. So for those of you who got rid of a narcissist, whether it's a woman or a man, whoever the narcissist was in the message uh, was out of supply. Like it was giving me like an opportunist energy of somebody that now doesn't have their looks because it said that they're aging back poorly so this person's losing whatever supply they have if this could be a family member it could be an ex but whatever it was the actual narcissist themselves uh, I mean there could be a prostitute involved in some shit too uh, the narcissist themselves are the ones that this narcissist was meant to be alone and die alone because of all the shady things that they've done behind closed doors their whole life, okay? So for some of you low vibing Aries, you are this narcissist. And for others of you, you got rid of this person. So I don't know if that's the same message that they're gonna wanna talk about today. I'm gonna turn this off so that you can hear me more clear. What can you tell me for Aries? you're really not going to stop until you're in jail or in the ground so somebody's not I, I just obviously okay let me get some more though but this is clearly somebody who doesn't know when to stop it's somebody it's a narcissist that had so much control over either a situation or just situations that they don't know they just don't and and uh, they don't they're having a hard time accepting this so this Aries and like the, the overly masculine energy, whether it's a woman or a man, is somebody that you just can't tell anything to. This is somebody that's usually old school. Um, they've gotten away with controlling people their entire life. They don't want to admit that there's things happening on the planet where there's change happening. They're being exposed and people aren't giving them the supply that they used to have before. Mess with your tires or your brakes. So, oh boy, this is one of them. This is one of them childish motherfuckers, okay? It's, yes. And, and this is like your typical narcissist with the Aries energy and the low vibration is your typical, how dare you tell me I can't manipulate you? How dare you tell me that my mask is falling off? There definitely could be a Leo involved. Or there, or, or there's an Aries that's connected to. First off, that for for those of you who are dealing with one that was a serial cheater, this person's being exposed, possibly for having like um, threesomes and and uh, well, first they're exposed for drinking and partying, which a lot of these people. So this is how I see this. There's a Leo involved for somebody that is your narcissist Aries that you got away from. Okay, for others of you. This person that you, you, because the gist of this is the aging narcissist out of supply. 
No more control, no more power. If they even really did, it was a false sense of power. It was only because they preyed on weak people to give them a sense of control. For some of you, this person triangulated you with either a younger sibling here with the Page of Cups or with your own child, okay? This is the type of person that likes to turn people against one another to play hero, all right? For some of you, it's somebody that you work with or a boss. Knight of Cups. You could definitely be dealing with a water sign with all these cups. This is definitely somebody who's a drinker, okay? This is that mean drinker. And I feel like they always are working with other people. They're always trying, they're always working with other people or trying to get other people to turn against either one person or whoever they feel like is their opponent, okay? That's what they do. Sorry, this is definitely a shape shifter. For some of you, this is a family member of yours or you have a family with this person. Okay, visionary. If you don't believe in what this person believes in, then they have a problem with you. If you don't agree, okay? So for some of you, this is you, Aries, in the low vibration. If you're not an Aries, possibly dealing with another Aries, okay? Selling insights to the highest bidder, compromising your vision to make it more acceptable. Right, this is somebody that will literally lie about anything they have to to get people to agree with what they want. And if you don't, then it's a problem. Let's get some letters for this. Well, can I get some letters for this for what I'm looking at, please? Someone's name could be Sam. Thank you. DJ, so they could be a junior. They could be a DJ. I mean, this person could actually be, for some of you, this could be a DJ in a club, okay? DJ Y, so. Let me see. Decent jobs. Jimmy Fats. Hey man, did you did you bring Jimmy Fats? Midwestern slang for joint. Okay, so this could be somebody that smokes. I guess that could be confirmation for somebody here that this person smokes a lot of weed. Uh, honest answers, please. Is today August? I'm sorry, Spirit. Is today August twenty fifth? 2022. Thank you. I command the truth. Can you clear that, please? Is this DJ Weiss? Why somebody that uh, smokes pot? Okay. All right. So this is a pot smoker. Uh, I'm guessing they're a pot smoker and a drinker with the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups. I feel like this person is one of those people that. Um, they could be the kind of person that smokes and drinks, yet they'll point fingers at other people for for doing any other, like another substance, right? Like there could be another person that drinks and they could like take pills and they think that because the other person takes pills, they could smoke an ounce of fucking weed a day, but they still think that somebody else doing drugs is worse. It's just a very judgmental, there's nothing wrong with me. Um, yeah, it, it's just that kind of person. I mean, very finger-pointing person we're dealing with here. The law is watching you and protecting you, so I don't. You could have a restraining order against this person. This could be a nasty drunk, uh, an earth sign mother. So there's an earth sign mother that the law is protecting. So for some of you Aries, this is you. You're not going to stop with an earth sign mother until you're dead or in jail. Good luck with that, buddy. For others of you, there's an earth sign mother that the law is protecting you from. This could be a, like a super toxic mother, a drunk mother, a mother that doesn't know her place. All right. Definitely could be an earth sign involved here, but I feel like you guys are grounded. For those of you, like you're trying to ground yourself. You could even, for those of you who this is an ex, you could just be trying to get your life together after like a divorce or a split up or finally having the balls to get out of this narcissistic, abusive partnership whatever this is whatever this is okay hunter 
tracking. So I feel like, yeah, with the laws protecting, whoever the law is protecting in your situation, for those of you who resonate with this, or this may not be your message at all, I feel like there is, they're being watched. With the laws protecting you and tracking, somebody's like hunting somebody or they don't stop. This is like gang stalking energy or something. This could be like a ringleader of a punk ass gang or something like that. You know, you know those punks that like they didn't really fit in with society doing the right thing. So they feel like they fit in doing the wrong thing during a time where um, everybody doing the wrong thing is getting exposed even by the people that they never thought they'd get exposed by. It's kind of like that. Okay. There's Granger. Yeah, this person's got delusions of Granger, okay? They really think that they're the shit. They would never get caught. They'll never go down. This is somebody who's like, I will go down in flames. Okay, well, you know, look, 43 could be relevant. So I don't know, something could have happened. Some of you could be 43 or something happened with this person specifically um, when you were 43 years old. I, let's find out what the understanding is here. I want to find out what this understanding is understanding tell me can put one on this why is this here understanding that they're going to keep losing until they stop that's what this is i feel like somebody they don't understand that they're going to possibly be on the street so if this was somebody trying to get you kicked out or whoever this is that's on the side of like why are you coming against me you're not going to stop until you're dead or in jail whoever that person is they're not going to have anything happening to them but whoever the uh victimizer is because this definitely is giving me like bully like victimizer like sit your ass down kind of shit yeah i don't like it gets an a plus so whoever the person is who's just doing the right thing even if like because there's a lot of people now who are just sitting back and letting oh here's the birds oh they all came with one shot and guess what they're crows so somebody's definitely fucking with spell work what else is new all right not many people know how to do anything naturally anymore. But uh, I'm just glad to see that they're out. So this is what's been happening a lot. It's this sense of um, some people that have had control over their, over their lives and other people's lives um, for most of their life is not happening anymore. There's a fall of tyrants, whether it's in your family, your friend group, work, um, politics, CEOs all across the globe they're falling anybody who, who was wanting to have control overcharging bullying gang stalking whatever it is so there's and someone's niece is involved for some of you you're doing this to your niece okay I find it hard to believe that there's a niece that that's that you need to have the law protecting you for but for some of you it could be but I'm picking up that somebody's hunting their own niece or they sent somebody to hunt down or do something dirty to their own niece because you're weak. She is not dressed. So there could have been something where somebody was videotaped getting dressed. It's like an invasion of privacy, like hunting somebody, like, like who the fuck are you kind of thing is what I'm picking up. Like how dare you feel like you get to watch me or send people to watch me. There could literally be something coming out about um, somebody's uncle because I feel like with the air, it could be an aunt wanting to harm their own niece. What can you tell me about this niece card, please? What can you tell me about this niece card, please? So there's a dirty uncle involved in this. I feel like the dirty uncle could possibly be the Aries. Lover? Did they actually like this? Somebody's obsessed. Obsessive passion that harms others. So there's there's somebody here. Oh, wow. I think somebody likes their niece. Ew. Gross. Who is this? This is a dirty uncle is what this is. There could be a Gemini involved with the lover coming out too. Somebody could have sent like there's 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 something here literally about You know what this sounds like to me? This sounds like what happened to Kenika Jenkins where there's family members involved, the law well the law wasn't really protecting her, okay? But this is what this sounds like. Somebody's trying to put their niece on the street or somebody's niece is on the street and 
and, and we're going to find out why. This could be a situation where somebody's niece, um, you know, everybody was supposed to leave them out in the cold. There's something bigger going on here. It could have been organ trafficking because of me mentioning Kanika. There could be an uncle that is behind some shit. It's 9 o'clock exactly. It could be behind some shit um, with trying to have their niece trafficked or organ trafficked their organs trafficked can I get one more please with this niece where are all of the men who stand up for women yeah I feel like somebody's niece like really needed some masculine support here <laughs> I think that whoever this niece is whether this is you or someone that you know this person had people hunting them I feel like they still do and I think this niece is like where the fuck are all of the men in my life Somebody here with the hunter card, though, I'll tell you what, I feel like somebody's niece is handling this. If you're this niece, they're handling it just fine. I think it brought out the hunter in the niece. Like, how dare you? Who the fuck do you think you are? This could possibly be a situation where there's a female who had to stand her ground a bunch of bunch of, I mean, against a bunch of men. Like Aries energy, you know, like dominant, misogynistic, uh, masochist. I almost said masochist, blank. Yeah, they're coming up with blanks. Well, let's see what else comes out. See, I don't like when the blanks come out first because then it's like I gotta I gotta try and figure out what letters come with it. This may be longer than most. Oh. R. Well, wow. I want to find out if it's a vowel. This could have been going on for 10 years or since this niece was 10 years old. Um, I command the truth, please. Is this F? Okay, I want this four. Four? Okay. Stand up for. Stand up for. All right, so this niece is standing up for themselves. I think they have no choice. This, this niece energy, this, this female energy, I think that they've literally been going up against men. There could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo involved. That doesn't have to be. This could have to do with, look, I knew it. This could have to do with some life insurance, you guys. This is something that has to do with making money off of somebody else's death. Period. I also think that there's a grandmother with the Queen of Pentacles that passed away and left this niece some money. And instead of these motherfuckers actually coming up with it, they were trying to take this niece out. I'm going to leave their Scorpio energy. I'm going to leave that out. I honestly think that they sent people to take out this niece. Yo. Look, look. Who's the crud bucket uncle here and the aunt, possibly aunts? It may not just be an uncle. There may be low vibing aunts and uncles together from a family group that were trying to do some dirty shit to this niece. The fuck's wrong with you, man? Oh, boy. Who is this, man? Medication. They could have possibly wanted to put something in somebody's medication. Or they were saying that this person was on medication. And the whole lie was going to be that they overdosed. Or that they were an addict. Or something like this. This took a different turn. Hates women. So whoever this uh, uncle is, I'm guessing, they hate women. Someone's a prostitute. Or they, they, they thought that this niece was going to be a prop... Oh, I saw a property. I, saw, I just saw a property manager. There's a property manager that hates women. And I feel like they own, they, someone is a, what's this prostitute shit? So it could be the property manager that's a fucking prostitute here? Shh. Yeah, there's a, look, I just split it again. So there's a whole community involved with whatever this thing is with this niece. Somebody's super humble. And I feel like they thought that this person was a prostitute. So, yeah, let let me pull on this property manager because I feel like this is a whole fucking community. But there's obviously with the niece card here that there's family members involved. I'm telling you, this sounds like what happened to Kanika Jenkins. OK, I don't know what sign she was. I really don't know. I should look into that. But this sounds like what this is like. There were family members. OK, it's an older man with the King of Pentacles. Could be a Capricorn, could definitely be a Taurus older man for something, or this is like a ringleader of some shit here. There's definitely an older man who was waiting for some kind of payout. They could have been wanting to prostitute this niece. This is like, I feel like people, look, look, for stability. 
Yeah, there's a King of Pentacles energy. I don't know if this was the uncle or the property manager that we just saw, but it's over because somebody here... Oh, boy, I just don't like it. I'm starting to sweat real bad, so I could be picking up on somebody's energy. They could be a sweaty bastard or a sweaty broad or something like that. But somebody here can't find balance. Like, they don't, they don't know how to have equal give and take in relationships, whoever this is. So... Uh, this could be somebody who gets into relationships to pimp, pimp them out. Had a vendetta. You hear that? So whoever this is, they have a vendetta against this niece. Somebody was diagnosed with cancer, though. Why? Why do we need to know this? Why? The more you resist change, the harder it is to adopt, adapt to it. It's going to happen either way. So I don't know. There's somebody that needed to change confirmation. There's somebody that needed to change their ways here, possibly their love for money or their lack of regard for their own family member here when it came to money. Somebody can't, they can't support their family or themselves. So they do like, you know, egregious shit, whether it's like uh, prostituting or sex trafficking or something like that. But uh yeah i don't know this I, whoever this niece is in this situation they could be responsible for like dismantling this whole entire thing here what do i want to get with these Whew. this isn't going to be for everyone he is but this is definitely a message that needed to come out shapeshifter so it, uh whoever with this shapeshifter is it's like a narcissist that was diagnosed with cancer either a father was so there's a toxic masculine shapeshifting energy here i'm gonna pull some cards and find out who it is they were diagnosed with cancer okay this is somebody's karma i just saw the wheel of fortune uh yeah again that's somebody's karma why uh there could be a father that just turned their back on their own child and this was happening to them tell me more about this please why? Tell me about this diagnosed with cancer, please, for Aries or Cross Watcher. Thank you. Look, I don't know. I mean, somebody, somebody, this is somebody who, uh, they juggle, what did they juggle? What were they juggling? Juggling what? This is somebody who doesn't give, but they take. All right, whoever the shapeshifter masculine energy is that likes to have a uh, authority, this is definitely like Aries energy in the low vibration. Somebody that likes to have control of relationships and they're abusive and they drink and her. Yeah, so this is somebody here that uh, they possibly wanted to get even with somebody. They wanted vengeance. They had a vendetta against somebody. Okay, could be a tarot reader. They had a vendetta. Um, against but i also see that this person was only focused on money that this was a father and this is their daughter which who is this niece that knew about this shit or something yeah money somebody was betrayed for money whoever this is they walked away from somebody or or whatever and they never and and this person's like how dare you walk away from me yeah look so this person whoever the one is that this, these are loveless motherfuckers. These are soulless beings. These are zombies. They don't have the ability to love. These are narcissistic, soulless family members, people in the neighborhood, property manager, whatever this is. But whoever the one is that was being hunted, they're not going nowhere. Because we already know how these stories end up, right? Uh, I think someone's realizing that they were the trap to trap a lot of people who were doing this. D. Somebody treated somebody uh, like shit here or treated them like they were worthless or or they thought that they were worth more dead than alive or some shit like this. So I don't know who this is for. D, U. <sighs> Dut. Let's find out what Dut is. I'm sure it's going to be interesting. Now, with the thing with the weed coming on, with the joint, this could be the situation that I picked up on before um, a few days ago with the reading about people putting PCP and dipping joints in it and stuff like that. So that could have been another tactic that they could have used to try to like hunt this niece down or something. Device under test. Driver under test. Is that what this is? 
Is this driver under test? No, so it must mean something else in like slang. Let's see what the slang is. <sighs> Dirty, ghetto, plain crap. Oh, okay. So I told you, somebody treated somebody like they were trash and they're probably royal, okay? And that's why this situation happened. Is that what this is? Trash, ghetto? They, they treated somebody like this. Yeah. Yo, somebody was treated. This is like a Cinderella story. Like, but, but they're royal. I can already tell that they're royal because I already know how this goes. This was a motherfucking goddess, okay? And I think that this goddess energy, this niece, is what this whole thing is surrounded by. They needed to stand up for themselves. I think this niece has had jealous men around her her whole entire life, including possibly of her own father, uncles, cousins, friends, boyfriends. This is a very strong, confident woman, but I feel like they were broken down at one point because they felt like, damn, nobody loves me, but they're realizing these people don't mean a fucking thing. Okay, you don't want to be loved by these kinds of people. They don't have the ability to love. It had nothing to do with you. So whoever the niece is in this situation, I think that you you see now your worth or you had to. And now all these people are getting dealt with in this situation. This is amazing. This is amazing. This sounds like somebody definitely came back here this lifetime to take some shit back. And these people incarnated as family members and people. But before this person, obviously, they had an awakening. Okay, they had an awakening. I do feel like somebody's father, the shape-shifting father, uh, projecting any image. I feel like this father didn't protect their daughter because I feel like the niece had uncles and father and and friends that just sat back and did nothing. But maybe it was so that this niece, this female, could see the strength that they had and that they didn't need anybody but their spiritual team to help them. So. I don't know who this is for, but I do know who the victor is or is going to be because it always turns out like this. And I know that the duds, uh, these weak ass supposed men who just sat back and either contributed to hunting this female, it really does sound like Kanika's situation. Now I could be pulling on her energy as well, but this shit is happening to other females. So this is definitely what this is. I don't know how this ties into you for some of you low vibing piece of shit aries male energies you are the uncle or you are the ones or you're part of these men that thought you were going to take down this female this niece this friend this daughter whatever it is um for the others of you uh you know this person or this is you and you are a denise but this is a clear message about a female standing up to a bunch of misogynistic woman hating men and taking them all down one by one with their spiritual team so we ain't going nowhere, Aries or Crosswatcher. Philly out. Love you.